Has this ever happened to you? You've spent a great deal of time building a masterful, top-notch, world-class messenger experience in Chatfuel, but you created it a couple days ago, weeks, potentially even months or years ago, you haven't looked at it or touched it since. So the problem happens when you decide, hey, it's time to update this bot. So you go in after not having looked at it for so long, and you're like, hey, I completely forgot how my bot is organized, how it's all connected. I have these obscurely named blocks and sequences that made sense to me at the time when I was building it, but now I don't know what's happening at all. I'm completely lost. Potentially you have to refer to some mind maps or flowcharts you created separately, and it's a huge pain and headache. Or if you're not building bots for yourself, perhaps you're an agency working with a client. Maybe that client was previously working with another agency who built their bot, and now they have since abandoned that agency, so it's time for you to take over the bot, build it, understand how it all works, and improve it. In both cases, of course, the problem is you don't know how everything is organized and connected in Chatfuel. It's just really confusing and you feel lost and overwhelmed. So thankfully, starting today, we're introducing a solution to that problem of organization called block navigation. And you'll see the module for block navigation here in the welcome message, and of course on every other block in your Chatfuel bot. So before we dive in, we have to explain what these two categories are here, inbound links and outbound links. Inbound links are all of the sources that are driving traffic into this block of your Chatfuel bot, and outbound links are all of the pieces of content that we are sending users to from this current block. Also note, in case you don't see this module right here, that means that your bot is not connected to a Facebook page, so make sure to hook up that bot to your Facebook page for this to appear and so that you can follow along for the rest of this tutorial. So first, let's talk about inbound links. Again, these are all the sources that are driving traffic into this block of your chatbot. So first by default here, and this will only appear on the welcome message, is Facebook page, right? This means that anybody who goes to your Facebook page, clicks that send message call to action button and messages you, is getting this welcome message block. Or they can also, of course, search for your business on Messenger, send a message, and that's what Facebook page here means as an inbound link. It's how people are getting to this selected block. Next, let's talk about the ref link. So for those of you who don't know and are potentially new to Chatfuel, the ref link is a way for you to create a URL, a deep link to a specific part of your bot. So in the welcome message here, it's not really that useful since people can easily get here anyway, but say way down the funnel at the bottom of the funnel, you want people on your email list who are already really warm leads to get directly to a specific message, you can create a ref link link to that message, to that content that is not accessible by anyone else without that link. So if I click here to create a ref link, I'll switch this toggle, click done, and now you see that this ref link is added as an inbound link. It's another source of people getting into this specific block. Now let's head over into the Grow tab and I'll show you Comment Acquisition, which is of course another inbound link for people to access your blocks. So here we have Acquire Users from Comments, Comments Acquisition. I'll click here to add a rule. Let's say for example that we are an e-commerce brand, we're running a giveaway, and we want people who comment on a Facebook post that we publish to have the bot send them a message so they can become a subscriber, get certain information related to this contest. So here I can call this giveaway or contest. I'll select all page posts just for simplicity to save time here, although I wouldn't recommend this in practice. We'll then say respond to all comments and long story short, we'll just redirect people who comment on this post and respond to the bot's message to that welcome message block. Great, so I'll click done. And then when we go back into the automate tab on the welcome message, we'll see that giveaway, that comment acquisition rule is added as another inbound link source. 
Next, we can talk about the AI rules in the Setup AI tab. So this is where we can set up keywords and responses for our subscribers. So if we click Add AI Rule here, we can type in a keyword like Restart. Let's say the user wants to start over this Messenger experience. We can type in that keyword or phrase, and then we'll link this to that welcome message block. And if we want, we can double click this. It'll take us back there and we'll see AI rules are added. Again, another way that users can access this block. It's another way where they can enter it. Let's now head down south a little bit to the re-engage tab. This is a tab, a tool, a feature in chat field where you can re-engage your audience who has not recently interacted with the bot. So here we can, let's create a schedule for later message, for example, to re-engage these subscribers and send out a mass broadcast, so to speak. And then on this message, we can link people, of course, to that welcome message or any block for that matter in our bot. But we're just sending everybody to the welcome message here for sake of explanation. So I'll create a text card. I'll say, check out our new products, for example. We'll create a button here that says, check them out. And we'll link to the welcome message. Then we'll go back into the automate tab as expected, and you'll see we now have re-engage listed here as one of our sources. The persistent menu is one of my favorite features in Chatfuel, although I feel it's super underrated. So let's go into the configure tab here and show you another inbound link, which is the persistent menu. So this is a menu that will be persistent. It will always be accessible to the user when they're chatting with your bot. And so I'll add a menu item here for let's say that giveaway that we're running for this e-commerce store. So I'll type in giveaway here, just as some sort of always accessible persistent call to action. We'll link that just like before to the welcome message and you'll see this appear as yet another source of traffic, another inbound link. So here we go, persistent menu listed as anticipated. Okay, so last but certainly not least for the inbound links category are blocks. So I'm going to create a new group down here. This is just for organizational purposes. I'll keep the group title the default. I'll just create a new block here. The naming and all that is irrelevant. And I'll click here to add a text card and I'll say restart the bot, for example. We'll click add button, link that to the welcome message. We'll say restart. And boom, when I go back into the welcome message, we'll see that if I click this drop down, untitled block is now listed. We can click that, it'll take us to that block and we are good to go. So before we move on to the outbound links, of course it is worth noting as you just saw that all of these different links are links, right? They're hyperlinks, they're clickable. So you can easily click to navigate to see the relevant information of how users can access this currently selected block. But that being said, let's now transition over into the outbound links. All right, so one of the key outbound links is of course external URLs. So let's say on the welcome message here, we wanna link to an external page, which by no means would I recommend since you wanna have people stay within Messenger and within that ecosystem. But let's say for theoretical purposes, we want to drive somebody to a website from the welcome message. I'll add a text card here. We'll say, visit our site. We'll include a button here that says, shop now, include that URL, we'll link them to chatfield.com, let's say, and bam, now we have this outbound link listed here. Then we can talk about sequences. So sequences are another core component of Chatfield. They allow you to nurture your audience over time based on how they behave in your bot. So you can follow up with them if they haven't completed a certain task, you can nurture them over time, et cetera. So to add a sequence, I'm going to click here to add a sequence and we could just call this nurture or drip campaign, whatever we wanna call it. And then let's say at the end of this welcome message, we'll subscribe them to that sequence. So I'll click here, subscribe to sequence, select from this list the name of the sequence. And again, once I refresh this block, 
you'll see that sequences, or specifically untitled block two, this first block in the sequence will show up as a place, a piece of content where users will eventually be redirected from this current block. Blocks can not only be inbound links, they can also be outbound links, of course. So we can have other blocks that lead into the welcome message and then blocks on the welcome message or buttons on the welcome message that lead to other blocks. So here, let's say we want to replace this URL, this external URL with a block. I can do just that. Let's say we wanna redirect them to the first block in the sequence. I'll type in untitled block two, and we'll see that is now listed as an outbound link. And in this case, you see it's just here listed once because it happens to be the outbound link for both of these plugins. So this is block navigation in a nutshell. Again, a super efficient way to better visualize how all of your content is organized in your chatbot. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Also, if this video was helpful for you, make sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube so you're notified when we release future videos and tools like this one that are gonna save you time, headaches, and money. Thanks for watching and happy botting. In a world where dumb chatbots run rampant, where people type messages instead of clicking buttons, a world of lost sales opportunities, a world of frustration, a world of pain. Only one man can save the future of messenger marketing. Follow Josh Barkin on his mission to conquer the default answer. Once and for all.